The Runway Gen 3 AI video generator has finally been released to the public. There's been a ton of hype about how this AI video generator is the best that's out there, so I had to try it out for myself. I did a lot of testing and in this video I'll give you my honest impressions about the pros and cons about Runway Gen 3. I'll show you a bunch of different examples of videos I created so you can decide for yourself. I've logged into the homepage and this get started button brings me to the AI video interface. Right now only text to video is available. So we'll enter our prompts into this prompt box to generate videos. For prompting I want to test out a few main things, the camera motion and shot type some different subjects and lighting conditions, and video styles. Let's start with, follow a female detective walking down a dark alley in Istanbul. The alley is dimly lit with broken street lights. The videos are created pretty fast, usually in one or two minutes. And the result seems pretty good, and the detective walks down a dark alley. There is some lighting from the lamps. The scene and motion stay consistent for the entire duration of the video without any warping. I think the environment also looks pretty realistic. We'll try a few more camera shots and motions. This time I prompted for a long shot of a man walking through a desert. Not too bad. The walking motion is fluid, although if you look closely at the face and body of the man, it is very obvious that it's AI generated. It kind of looks like a character from a video game like GTA. Here's a more complicated camera motion. A close up shot on a female astronaut's eyes, the camera zooms out and reveals the astronaut on the moon. The AI follows the camera motion pretty well, it starts close up on the eyes and pulls back to show the environment on the moon. But the lower body of the astronaut is wearing shorts, which isn't that realistic. Here's another example video I created with a similar prompt. You'll notice that the video suddenly splits in the middle into a totally different scene. This didn't happen that often, but it is annoying when it does occur. Let's do one more. This time I prompted for a low angle shot. The result is photorealistic, although the motion doesn't really follow what I asked for, which is the astronaut walking up the ladder. Let's try out some different subjects and lighting conditions. Close up shot of a woman wearing a futuristic neon necklace and earrings in a dystopian sci-fi film. This video was probably the best out of all of my results. The consistency in the identity of the character and the motion are all really good. The background is coherent and it follows my prompt closely. I prompted for a woman wading through a swamp holding a torch. It does look cinematic, but unfortunately you'll see some warping with the arms and the torch. She starts out facing away from us, but then suddenly the face and torso warp to face us. Here's a hunter in a forest with lighting from a fire. Overall, pretty solid sample. Nothing I can complain about here. By the way, these are all 10 second videos, which is one of the pros of Runway Gen 3. It directly can generate a 10 second video for you, which other AI video generators don't always do. Here's a low angle shot of a spaceship landing. The subject and camera motion match correctly, but I did prompt for a gritty and cinematic style like Dune. But the generated video looks like some sort of a video game render. One more for lighting. This ballet dancer has so much motion. There is some warping in her limbs, but the amount of relatively coherent motion is very impressive. It's certainly way better than Runway Gen 2. What about some different animation and film styles? Let's start with a retro sci-fi film with pastel colors. The motion and details are really really good. I can't stress that enough. It doesn't really follow the prompt though where I asked for a retro film style. Here's a mermaid shot with Sin Still film. This one turned out really well. The water effects look amazing. I think environment and landscape videos will probably be Gen 3 strong suit. I just prompted for a Pixar animation here without asking for any specific details. I guess it's some sort of a suburban neighborhood. You'll see that the smaller faces on the children look a bit distorted. I did try to generate anime style videos but it looks like it can only do 3D video game renders so if you're hoping to use a Runway Gen 3 for anime style animations it's probably not going to work. If you like the generated videos you can find the download button above the video player. Underneath the prompt box, you can change the video lengths from 5 to 10 seconds. The resolution is 720p or 1280 by 768 pixels. Runway Gen 3 is pretty expensive. It costs 10 credits for 1 second of video, which is 100 credits for each 10 second video. The standard plan, which starts at $15 per month, gives you 625 credits, which is only 6 10 second videos. You can't buy additional credits, but that still amounts to $1 for a 10 second video, which is pretty expensive. 
From a technological standpoint, Runway Gen 3 is impressive. For text-to-video generation, I haven't tried anything better. But I do think they need to add image to video to be competitive with other AIs like Luma. For now, it is very expensive for what you get. That's just my opinion though. If you want to check out another AI video generator with extremely high quality image to video, go and take a look at this tutorial I made on Luma AI over here.